Hello everyone, hope you're all doing really well. Um, I hope that you've had to manage to get um, a relaxing Easter break. Um, hope you've all been happy and safe at home with your loved ones as well. Um, this is just a short introductory video about me and why I'm doing this. Um, so just before we broke up for the Easter holidays, I started filming these um, YouTube phonic sessions um, for children and I've had lots of questions from friends and family and friends of friends of friends as well so I just thought um, I'll use this opportunity to introduce myself and also talk about why I'm doing this. Um, so those of you that don't know me my name is Chidam Dustape. they call me Miss Dustape. Um I work as a teacher at a school in Redbridge in the UK um, just in case, if you don't believe me, I have a qualified teacher status. So here are my certificates and I've completed my induction as well. I've been teaching in the early years and Key Stage 1 um, for eight years now. Um, and currently at my school, I'm also the phonics lead. Um, so what am I doing um, at the moment with the YouTube videos? I'm teaching phonics online. Um, it started off as um, daily lessons for my year group as I lead the reception team um, because unfortunately because of the coronavirus pandemic we've had to stop all learning um, and it's really sad that my, my class, my year group were halfway through um, their phase three phonics letters and sounds um, and as teachers we all feel really anxious that they're going to go into year one in September not completing their letters and sounds um, not knowing as many tricky words and high frequency words um, and how to read and write phonetically um, and I thought we can use this opportunity to create some um, lessons online so that children can continue learning how to blend and segment um, and also an opportunity for parents to understand the teaching of phonics as well. So who is this for? It's for anyone really. Um, originally it has been created for reception age pupils, so four to five year olds in the UK. Um, and that's when they are learning their phase three letters and sounds, their digraphs, their trigraphs and their tricky words as well. Um, your children may have older siblings or younger siblings that want to join in. That's absolutely fine. Um, some parents might find it useful as well, especially if there are parents who are struggling with um, understanding how to teach reading and writing in English. Um, that's absolutely fine. You can join in. Your support will be much appreciated in these videos as well. Um, and feel free to forward the link to my YouTube channel um, to as many friends and family that you have um, who are struggling with um, homeschool learning, um, how to support their child's reading and writing at home, how to challenge them. Um, feel free to share these videos and they can share them with their friends and family too. That's absolutely fine. Um, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll get notified of every time there is a new um, video upload. Um, I will try my best as much as possible to upload these videos every weekday. Um, so Monday to Friday by 10 o'clock in the morning, that's uh, UK time, 10 a.m. Um, and I'll try my best to do that in advance. Um, but if you do subscribe to my channel, then you will get notified with that every time there's a new upload. Um, so, yeah, this this um, YouTube channel is for anyone who, who would like to learn how to read and write or continue practicing their letters and sounds, knowing how to read and write sentences, um, developing their decoding skills as well as comprehension too. Um, it's, it's open to anyone really. Um, also, if there are any teachers out there um, or learning support assistants who would like some phonics training, feel free to watch my videos. Um, the way I teach online is exactly the way I teach at school, um, with less resources obviously. At school we have access to the smart board and interactive whiteboards. Um, and I'm trying to implement some of that online learning at the end of these sessions by asking children to continue um, with some activities at the end of the video as well. Um, so yeah, it's open to anyone really. Um, 
why am I doing this? I've had a few questions and what's the benefit for me? Um, well, it's the same reason as why I've chosen to become a teacher, really. Um, I really love teaching in the early years um, and I love teaching phonics. It's one of my favourite things to teach. Um, watching children and their families grow and understand how to develop their reading and writing is extremely rewarding for me. So it's purely because of that. Um, and I just feel really anxious that there are going to be a lot of children in this cohort around the world who are not going to have many um, of um, their reading and writing skills when they go back to school in September. Um, so it's purely for that, purely because I just love working with children and I want to support these families um, as much as I can. Um, so that's what I'm getting out of it. If if any child can develop their reading and writing skills because of these videos, with the support of you and me, that is just more than anything to me. That means the world to me. Um, so thank you for your support with that. Um, what will happen afterwards um, in terms of when this pandemic is over? Well, my videos will stay online. I'm not going to take them off. They will stay on YouTube as long as they can stay on YouTube. Um, so children and families will always have access to them and hopefully they'll always be useful to future generations, younger siblings, um, friends and family as well. Um, the only thing that may change or is likely to change is at the end of my videos, I ask um, children to go and log on to um, the school resources that we have, like LGFL Busy Things, um, which is London Grid for Learning. Um, every school um, in London has access to that um, with the children's unique username and password. Um, the children can play some phonics games on there and also phonicsplay.co.uk. Um, phonicsplay.co.uk at the moment um, has free resources, free accessibility to everyone until um, this pandemic thing is over. Um, but with LGFL, um, busy things, you can only access for free if you've got a London Grid for Learning username and password. So if you are a um, student in London, make sure that you are checking that your school has provided you with these username and password details so that you can have access to them too. If you don't have access to them, I do apologise, um, but that's it's mainly because these sessions are tailored to our pupils at my school in Redbridge. Um, but um, hopefully, if you do have access to those um, programmes, they'll be very beneficial because that's an opportunity for you then to, for your child to then go and apply the skills that I'm teaching in the phonics lessons. Um, so one thing that may change at the end of this pandemic is phonics play will not be free. Um, all the resources will not be free. Some of them will be limited um, and LGFL busy things will continue as usual for our children um, throughout their life um, um, going up through our school um, in Redbridge. So that's one thing that could change. But other than that, the YouTube videos will still be on there. Um, and in terms of any other questions, well, I hope they are useful to you. I'll try and make them um, as actively engaging as possible. Um, I did mention at the beginning of um, my YouTube channel that I have got two groups. Um, it's differentiated. So we have group one, um, children who are um, in... I think it's set, seven, uh, set eight to nine of phase three phonics letters and sounds. Um, and they are working on reading and writing more sentences and polysyllabic words. And group two are um, children who um, are spending more time on the decoding strategies. Um, and they are a few weeks behind group one in terms of the sounds that they're on. Um, so... If you are not um, a member of our family from our school, it's up to you which session you would like your child to join into, whether it's group one or group two, um, so that they they are getting the differentiated activities for them as well. Um, the pace is a little bit quicker in the group one sessions um, and the sentences are a little, little bit longer and the polysyllabic words, if your child is struggling to keep up with them, remember you can always pause the video and support them with that um, and support them with the strategies that I talk about throughout the videos as well. 
um, or you can just um, get them to watch the group two videos instead so that they could keep up with the pace and it's a little bit more achievable for them. Um, so I hope that they enjoy these sessions. Um, but other than that, um, I have unfortunately disabled the comments option on these videos just because they are kids videos um, and we don't want to have any inappropriate comments um, visible to any of our children or any child around the world um, just to make it as safe e-safety as possible. Um, but if you do have any questions, if you're not sure about anything, you can get in touch with me. My email address will be at the end of this video. It's just mrstepe at gmail.com. Um, so if you do have any questions, anything you're not sure about, you need a little bit of support with, feel free to email me. I'll try and get, get back to you as soon as I can. Um, other than that, it's up to you whether you want to like my videos or dislike my videos. Um, I mean, the biggest uh, reward for me is that a child can learn to read and write at the end of it. And that will be a huge thumbs up for me. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope they're useful to you, your friends, your family. Feel free to share the link, spread the message, spread the love. Um, and I hope that all the children will get something out of this, including their families. Um, in the meantime, stay tuned, keep up with the videos and stay safe, stay home. Um, and I hope to see you soon again. Okay, take care. Bye.